I am an idiot, and I'm trying Linux. So for over a week, I've used Linux for work and gaming, editing, everything else, right? Why? Why am I doing this? Uh, and it's because I'm obsessive over keeping things neat and bloat free, uh, which Windows has not been doing. I hate Windows. There is an ungodly amount of bloat and AI garbage that gets in the way of peak performance and usability. And yeah, I've run deep bloaters, but the essential bloat still stays and it slows down everything. Not just that, but the UI and UX both add friction to the simplest of tasks. Why do I need to press a million buttons to do everything? But I can't give up Windows. Uh, why? Work. That's why. Uh, for those of you who are watching and don't know, I do work on the Roblox platform as a developer for various games. I generalize, meaning I do a bunch of different things, such as programming, music, UI, whatever. But that also means I have a lot of programs that require Windows it's pretty important that I do essential tasks so that, you know, I can pay for rent and food. Fortunately, Linux distros often support a compatibility layer called Wine, which means you can run Windows programs on it. How good, though, is what I have to find out. So fuck it, we ball. Let's give Linux a try since everyone using it says it's good. After spending some time installing it on both my laptop and PC, I'm greeted with this simple but beautiful interface. It's clean. It's awesome. It's smooth. And best of all, it's swaggy. I cannot describe in words how much I love this UI from the actual usability of it to the aesthetics. And also, side note, uh, I'm using Ubuntu, which is a specific Linux distro. All Linux distros look different and it's, it's pretty highly customizable, uh, which is dope just to have at your fingertips. Um, you can replace the UI, you can integrate various tools and so much more all through the terminal. Yeah, the terminal. Uh, let's talk about that. Everything more than basic tasks requires to use the terminal. Downloading stuff, customizing, everything is done through the stupid, stupid terminal. I hate this so much. Driver updates? Terminal. Discord download? Terminal. Okay, well, actually, you can download a lot of stuff through the app store and .deb files. But UI updates? Terminal. Line? Terminal. Configuration? Terminal. Don't get me wrong, the terminal is super convenient at times, and sometimes doing things like installing programs is actually easier and faster through the terminal. But my God, I just want to click button and button puts colorful icon on my screen, which I can click for more colorful and brain rotted programs. This is probably the single biggest thing that's keeping the average user from using Linux. Graphical interface is key to gaining OS market share. Most people use computers for just basic tasks, such as web browsing, emailing, and document editing. If the GUI can be enough to get users to that point without opening the terminal, then it'd be awesome. For a lot of you that don't know, Linux Mint is the closest we have to that sort of thing, but it's not perfect for those users. But whatever, it's fine. And it's time to download Roblox and Roblox Studio for work. Uh, one problem though, Roblox isn't supported on Linux, and actually Roblox kind of hates Linux. Fortunately, we have Sober and Vinegar. Sober runs the Android version of Roblox on PC. It's not quite an emulator to my understanding. It's more like a compatibility layer similar to Wine. It works fine after a couple tweaks aside from highlights and shadows sometimes looking lower detail. Vinegar is a Wine wrapper that runs the Windows version of Studio since Studio does not have the Hyperion anti-tamper software that prevents usage of Linux. So let's just open up. <laughs> Don't worry though, we can fix that with a bit of config, kind of. Also the code editor just looks awful. That's okay though. To go over my objectives, here's what I need to use for work without issues. I need to use Roblox, Roblox Studio, FL Studio, Figma, Vegas Pro Edit 21, Blender, Visual Studio Code with Wally and Roho, Source Tree, Git, Discord, and ShareX. Blender, Visual Studio Code, Git, and Discord all have Linux native versions that run really well, without issue, kind of. Uh, let's start with Discord. First off, streams lag, streams break my hardware and max out my CPU, and my microphone echoes. And yeah, my, yeah, mic, my echoes. mic echoes. It is so annoying to join a VC and then everyone else hears your desktop audio from your headphones so clearly that they think they are on your Discord stream. 
The same stream that lags and is blurry. Don't worry though. Through a bit of terminal shenanigans, we are able to fix things and install a noise suppression application for the microphone. Oh, and I just want to throw in that my audio interface drivers and software also don't support Linux. Um, so yeah, that sucks. It's okay though. We got it all working. I just need to get to work. So let's open Visual Studio Code. Awesome. Let's just download Roho and what? Oh. Don't worry though, for the terminal, we fixed it. One other problem with Git stuff I ran into earlier is that neither GitHub Desktop nor Source Tree supported Linux and I couldn't get them to work. I usually use Source Tree instead of, you know, the terminal or whatever to do Git stuff because I'm dumb. And so to get around this, I do version control via Visual Studio Code itself, but I, I don't know, I just don't like it nearly as much. It's okay though, anything to avoid the terminal. So, so far we got Blender, the Git workflow, Discord and Studio mostly working. So let's make some UI for work. One big problem though, is that Figma, at least the downloaded version, just straight up does not work on Linux. It's not supported. You can't use Wine. Figma Linux, which is like a community made thing, just sucks ass. Meaning I have to use the web version, which sacrifices a lot. I, I, I never fixed this issue. I never fixed this issue. I like, I still can't run Figma, except for in the browser on Linux. Okay, well, what about FL? Well, not all FL Studio plugins work and neither did Vegas Pro or ShareX. For FL, I had to boot into Windows every time to even use it, which just defeats the purpose of using Ubuntu. Vegas Pro has better alternatives on Linux, but nothing on Linux is as good as ShareX, which supports a lot of my UX workflows. And yeah, I got Studio kind of working. That is until someone asked me to send a copy of a map or when I need to upload a file. I just can't do those essential things. But I just love Linux so much. And when things work, they work really well. And they run better than in Windows. Games get higher frame rates. I can easily customize everything. I can install and uninstall programs without a billion UI prompts. It is just click, uninstall, click, install. That's it. I can do so much, but my issue is that there's so much more I can't do. And it's really, really frustrating to try and get things working on Linux. And the fact that there's so much troubleshooting in the beginning made it hard to get started and almost turned me off early on. Linux needs more market share to gain recognition because on its own, it's an awesome operating system, right? Linux itself is great, but because no company has the incentive to support the very few people that use Linux, it's not worth the resources spent just to have programs support it. Despite everything that annoys me, I still love Linux. I would recommend giving Linux a try if you feel like the benefits are good for you. On my PC, I will still keep using Windows installed as the default that way I can do things like work, you know, make music, develop games, edit videos, and more. I, although despite all of that, still use Linux on my laptop. I I just like it too much to, to give it up entirely. And I like to spend time customizing the, the UI and, you know, messing around with different programs. And now I use my laptop for developing non-Roblox things. I'm trying to learn a little bit more Python and other programming languages, um, which all just work so well on Linux. And so for that reason, I will continue using it on my laptop. I'm curious what everyone else thinks of Linux though, since I feel like a lot of Linux users love their distro to death. Uh, could just be me.